Today we'll talk about the Indian women's hockey team who have dominated the a dominated Asia, crowned champions for the second time, overcoming defending champions Japan to win the Asian Champions Trophy title. Now, when they first walked into the tournament, they were anxious and nervous. The entire team, and particularly coach Yannick Shopman, had come under fire after their loss to China in the semi-final of the Asian Games. There was a lot of hurt and anguish that day. The loud crowds in Hangzhou also made it doubly difficult for India to try and overturn an inevitable result. That loss also meant that India will have to take the long route to qualify for the Paris Olympics. But what a comeback this has been, and that too, at home. Tears of joy and euphoria reigned through the evening as firecrackers lit up the night sky in Ranchi. The women were excited, holding their hockey sticks high in the air. Right, beautiful scenes there, but no one was happier than Captain Savita Punya. अभी फिलहाल बहुत अच्छा लग रहा था आए थे तब थोड़े टेंस भी थे क्योंकि पता था जापान अच्छी टीम है बट हमें खुद के ऊपर था कि हमें कैसे स्टार्ट करना है हम उस चीज में बिजी थे बट जापान ने बहुत अच्छी फाइट दी तीन क्वार्टर तक और टीम ने बहुत अच्छा एफर्ट्स किया का अच्छा खेली टीम काफी हाँ बिल्कुल यही था हमारी हॉकी अटैकिंग हॉकी हमारी स्ट्रेंथ है और फर्स्ट क्वार्टर में एक गोल के बाद हम थोड़े से डिफेंसिव हो गए थे हाफ टाइम में यही बात की थी कि अगेन हमें अटैकिंग हॉकी खेलना है now, there is considerable reason for that added pressure for this bunch to perform in Asia particularly because this is a platform they have excelled in the past. Their maiden Asian Championship title came in 2016, which was held in Singapore. India successfully beat China back then to clinch the much-deserved title. Yannick was not head coach back then. And then, of course, after a gap comes this second title and at the very right time. Coach Yannick Shopman, who has been on the hot seat in women's hockey for a while now, was a little more circumspect when asked about the win. No, you never expect 4-0 in a final. You know, it's going to be tough. Uh, it was tough, to be honest, because it was 2-0 and then they got the stroke. And you know, if they score, then the game is wide open again. They'll probably pull their goalkeeper and let's see. But we did stay on the field mostly today. And I think when Savi stopped the stroke, we got an even more confidence. And then the 3-0 was a bonus and the 4-0 even more so. Yeah, the, the support here is honestly amazing. Like, I, we came here, we didn't know what to expect. And I think the first games we were a little bit nervous about it. But now the girls get so much energy and it's so amazing. And I get energy and I'm like, it's fantastic to play here. It really is fantastic. And the crowd has really helped us this tournament. Now, Yannick took over the reins as the head coach after Schwad Marien left at the end of the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. And the subdued excitement is understandable because the women's hockey team have been having a string of near misses for some time. And even though the Asian Games was the first major tournament that Yannick and Savita were working together on, it has been a project that has been underway for months. Every tournament counts. But what I do recognize is that the Asian Games is a very big tournament in Asia, in India. Uh, the amount of press, the amount of uh, requests the players get, uh, the exposure this tournament has. So you feel in every way, shape and form that it's huge and uh, way bigger than, you know, even the Commonwealth. And of course, the Nations Cup wasn't in that respect, a big uh, thing at all. So I think it's more the external things that come into play that makes it a little bit different. And uh, yeah, we talked about that as well as a team. How can we just make sure that we stay focused on ourselves and not get too much distraction from outside? Now let's look at some of the players who will be key for India's next crucial phase, which is to keep this momentum going into the qualifiers that's next year. It has to start with Captain Savita Punya. She has been instrumental in the team gaining an edgy look and a lot of her grit comes from her family that encouraged her to take up her sport, particularly her grandfather. She made it to the national team in 2007 when she was barely 17. The next person we have to talk about is Sangeeta Kumari. She emerged as India's top goal scorer here at the Asian Champions Trophy in Ranchi, scoring six goals through the tournament. She is one of the younger members in this national squad. She, in fact, only made her debut in 2022. Next up, 
We have to speak about Vandana Kattarya, one of the most senior hands in the outfit. Born to a technician in Haradwar, Vandana rose up from the junior squad to make it to the senior team. Vandana is in fact was the player of the tournament of this very tournament, the 2018 edition, the Cham Asian Champions Trophy. Now there are others like Larem Siami, Salima Tete, who are strong and forging a very strong, hungry Indian squad. A set of women who are fighting to reclaim their dominance in women's hockey. They did it with seven convincing wins in the seven matches in this very tournament. And they also managed to exact sweet revenge against China in their third match, uh, winning it 2-1. The next pit stop will be the 2024 Paris Olympics qualifier that will be held again in Ranchi in January, a venue that they have now owned with this win. The top three teams will make it to the big event in Paris, so there is lot on the line here in preparation for that big year coming up. Hockey India has also taken a bold and key step in adding a mental conditioning coach to the support staff of the Indian women's team. Peter Habel will be joining the side. He has had experience with US rugby, US water polo and the USA hockey women's team. Someone coach Yannick Shopman trusts to shepherd India alongside her in the next phase, which is going to be crucial. The Indian team will have made those small steps in world hockey, but the big leap is yet to be seen. And these champions are gearing up for executing just that. It's the dream of every cricketer. The ultimate glory. Few manage to keep their date with destiny. But for many, it's been heartbreaks and a cross to bear. The Holy Grail is here in India. I'm Rupa Ramani and first post brings you the ringside view. We bring you the Cup of Dreams. Cricket World Cup coverage like never before.